It's time for the Family Feud, introducing the Wysocki family. Bruce, Debbie, Corky, Norma, and Howard, ready for action. And the Balsas family. John, Jan, Bernie, Sharon, and Jody, on your mark. Let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Great sight to see 300 adults clapping with lollipop sticks. <laughs> Chaps are the Wysocka family right here. Yep, yep, yep. How you doing? Hi, Richard. How are you? Fine. How much money you want, Bruce? $5,333. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Just meet everybody. <laughs> this is my beautiful wife, Debbie. Hi, Hi Richard. Debbie. Her brother, Corky. Hello, Richard. My... <laughs> Hi, Corky. <laughs> You like those legs? Well, yeah, I just wanted to see if he bought any trousers yet. <laughs> it's kind of weird to walk out and see a, a beach bum down there and uh, the college graduate upstairs. Uh, please continue. Okay, my cute little mother-in-law by marriage, Norma. She's gorgeous. Hello, Richard. Hi, Don. My handsome father-in-law, Howard. Welcome, Richard. Howard. Nice to have you all here. Thank you. Uh, has he got different shorts on him? You should have bought a whole... Uh, group of different shorts. <laughs> you know, that would be kind of flashy to come out with a different different bathing suit every time. Uh, Corky drove his motorcycle uh, into Kmart or something. <laughs> broke a leg, uh, broke an arm, uh, and a bump on the head. But he recovered very well in fast money, and uh, he and Norma piled it all up. Now, the little girls that came out, Emily and Elizabeth. Right. <clears throat> are they your children? Mm -hmm. They are just so beautiful. Yeah, we're very proud of them. Yeah, and little Emily, uh, she curtsied for me. <laughs> and as I bowed like that, she went... <laughs> <laughs> I taught her that. Yeah, you told her. I thought you did. Balsa's here. Make it very hard. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. Me too. Who have you got here, sir? Richard, I have my lovely wife, Jan. Hello, Hi, Jan. Richard. Welcome. My brother, Bernie. Hi, Richard. Bernie. His wife, Sharon. Hello, Hi, Richard. Sharon. And my daughter, Jody. Hi, Richard. I'm in love with Jody. <laughs> what do you do, sir? I'm in the insurance business. I'm a general agent with the Guardian Life and have my own general agency in Santa Ana. You do? California, uh -huh. right. Uh -huh. That's better than just working for somebody. That's right, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, how long have you been with this darling? We've been to married for 18 years. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yes. Better than that, Richard. You've been going steady for 25 years. That's really? That's, that's true. You courted for seven years? Seven that's years. That's true. That's right. uh, you got... either stuttered or didn't quite know what to do. I wasn't quite sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got... I've got something special what for you. We're mean? all from Orange County, but originally from the... Thank um, you. From the hog capital of the world, Kiwani, Illinois. And mm -hmm. my mother made you some homemade kielbasa. And this what is, is for you to enjoy. What is kielbasa, though? It's pork is it sausage. It is. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that yummy? Delicious. Uh, 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 now she made this? Yes, this is, she, listen, she did this back in Illinois, especially for What's you. Her name? her name is Helen Potasnik. Uh, excuse me, talking like this. <laughs> uh, Helen, this is Faith Eagle. Isn't that good? Hi, my name's Jimmy Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play the game. Let's go. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'll give you a bit uh, during the commercial. That's good. I'm Polish. No fool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Really? Oh, shit. I'm, I'm as on. Polish as you can get. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the name that threw us. <laughs> 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. You have to try and find the most popular answer. Here is the question. Even if you overslept, name something you'd never go to work without doing. First, brushing your teeth. Brushing your teeth. One answer will be it, John. Shaving. Always shave. <laughs> Not that. Play. We'll play, Richard. Okay. I just looked at his beard. Maybe he got up uh, late a couple of times. Thank you. Fine. I'm in love with your daughters. Oh, Thanks. they are so beautiful. Even if you overslept, name something you'd never go to work without doing. 
getting dressed. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> getting dressed. The only exception to that is if you worked at a nudist colony. Uh, how are you, Corky? Fine. Uh, you're fine. Vermeer is down there. You're a disaster, uh, Cork. Uh, what would uh, you never go to work without doing a few of us like? Comb your hair. Okay. Corky said, comb your hair. You got it. <laughs> my darling, what would you think? Well, I might do it in a hurry, but I'd wash my face. Very good girl. Yeah. Always wash. Yes. Richard. Howard, you're in a nice position. You got no stripes. One answer left. Uh, give it to me. We'll go to a commercial. You start counting the money. Okay. Um, I, uh, I wouldn't forget my glasses. You would not. No. All right. You forgot them. <laughs> contacts. contacts. Oh, your contacts? <laughs> Glasses, there you got it all. Glasses! No. Nope. Bruce, if you overslept, what would you never go to work without doing? How about, uh, taking your briefcase? Yes, look, if it's there, you got it. If not, second strike. Briefcase! <laughs> huh? I couldn't go without putting some makeup on my All face. Right, <laughs> if it's there, you've got the money. If not, third strike, boss has got a chance to steal. Makeup? <laughs> no. <laughs> Bill, $90 for you. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Okay. Give me an answer. We're going to say, go to the bathroom. All righty. If it's there, you get the money. If not, Bruce gets it. Toy tape? You got it. <laughs> Come on, pretty Debbie. <laughs> 100 people survey. Top six answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something a woman uses as bait to catch a man. Yeah. Perfume. Perfume. Oh, boy. We're going to play it. We're going to play it. If, uh, if the number one answer, if you'd used that, you wouldn't have had a... Wait seven years, Seven right? years. Seven years. Yeah. Bernie, nice to have you here, sir. Richard? Something a woman uses as bait to catch a man. I think she uses makeup. Makeup? <laughs> Not there. Hello, Sharon. Hi, Richard. It's nice to have you with us. Glad to be here. What would you say uh, a woman uses as bait to catch a man? Cooking. Good, good. good answer. Good answer. That's true. I'm already in love with Helen in uh, <laughs> Hog Capital, Illinois. That's Cooking! Right. You got it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to need any bait. <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, they're going to be lined up. <laughs> I don't think so. The two old men in the line will be Gene Wood and myself. Beauty. <laughs> 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 Something a woman uses is made to catch a man. How about her money? Okay. Oh, good. Good. Money? Good. Gene and I will also be the ones clutching the money in our hand. <laughs> okay. Uh, she keeps a man waiting. That's the bait? Yes. Good answer. Good answer. She says, meet me Thursday. <laughs> Two years later, she shows up. She says, so you're still here? Huh? <laughs> she says, yeah, I'm here. I want to punch you in the nose. <laughs> Keeps him waiting. Not now. Second oh, 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 What does a woman yeah, use to face to catch a man? Uh, what, I'm going to say her wardrobe or what she wears. Okay, don't okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good answer. Is there okay? If not, third strike, the clothes. Yeah. Good Richard, I'm going to say a fancy car. All righty. Is there all right? If not, third strike, fancy car. No. $59 up here. Take it easy, Gork. Don't break anything there. Something a woman uses as bait to catch a man. <laughs> What did you say? Uh, 
<laughs> we'll try uh, her uh, sex appeal. Okay. Sex appeal is you get money, if not big leaf. John, sex appeal. Yeah, yeah but that's good. Number five. Yeah. It'd be fun to get hooked if that's what they were using for bait, wouldn't it? Yeah. We'll be back right after this. Oh, there, 59 here. Let's go. <laughs> Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top seven answers on the board is the question. Name something teachers use as a threat to their students. Detention. 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 Yeah, cool. oh, oh, right. We're gonna play, Richard. We're gonna play, Ken. Right. You hit that like you were a teacher, were you? That's right, I am. Are you? Yes. <laughs> are you really? Yes, sir. Oh, well, there you are. The quite cruel one if you knew the number one answer. <laughs> something teachers use as a threat to their students, yeah? Keep them in at recess. All right. <laughs> recess? You cannot uh, go out for recess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do you know uh, in the audience you have a rooting section? I sure do. They have a big sign up <laughs> saying know, that they so uh, say hi to me and they love you. They I'm say, glad. That's I because of your lovely... Uh, Finger <laughs> Is it violet or... Purple. Purple. Yeah. Touch of royalty in your joke. Uh. Yeah, very similar to me. Nine generations of British blood with just a dash of Viking. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes young people are impressed with that. Uh, some teachers use as a threat to their students. How about that they'll suspend them? Oh, good answer. You will be suspended. <laughs> no, not there. Well, that would frighten me. What would you say, John? Additional homework. Uh -huh. Good answer, <laughs> We call A H additional homework. Aha! Uh -huh. Again? Oh, you took my answer. It'll take me a minute here. Um, how about a threat to sit in the corner? Let's oh, look. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Did any of our 100 people say Be sit in the corner? <laughs> no. Bernie? Oh. Richard, I'm going to say the threat to spank them. Spank them, all right. Ooh. By the way, the monkey decides his birthday is tomorrow. If you, if you want to celebrate, I'll be there. Uh, if it's there, okay. If not, third strike. Al Wallopo. No. Oh. $108 up here for ya. Right, Saki? One, two, three, four answers unrevealed. Give me an answer. We'll go to the principal's office. Go to the principal's office. If it's there, get the 108. If not, we give it to John. Principal, you got it. Number three. Oh, Following parents. Number five. And number six. Sailor. 167 plays 90. Let's go. Come on. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a topping on donuts. Sarah? Uh, frosting. Frosting the snowman. What are you going to do? Richard, we're going to play. play. Donuts make my brown eyes blue. I love that song. Uh, a topping on donuts. How about powdered sugar? Oh, this good is good. Answer. Good answer. Powdered sugar? Topping yeah. on donuts, John. Yeah. How about uh, peanuts? Peanuts? Peanuts. That's it, that's it. Good. 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 Peanuts. I've got one. I hope it's there. Coconut. All right. Whoa, good if it's there. Got a good game going. Coconut. Oh. Oh. 284, 167. Our showdown. Well, I wish you both luck. Tell your dollar values are tripled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. This will decide it. 
Name something a writer needs. Yes. A pen. A pen. Good answer. Number one answer. What are you going to do? We're going to play. We're going to play, champ. Well done, Jim. Something a writer needs. Five seconds. Paper. 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 Must be generous. I gave him five seconds instead of three. <laughs> of course, we had two left over from the last show, didn't we? Something a writer needs. Um, three seconds, huh? I'm going to say an imagination. Good. Oh, good yeah. Imagination. Go. Oh, 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 oh. One more, Bernie. You'll be the champ. Okay. Go. Something a writer needs. Richard, I'm going to say a dictionary. If it's there, sir, you're the champ. Dictionary? <laughs> no. Good answer, though, Sharon. I'm going to say a typewriter. Yeah. Oh, Typewriter's here. You are the champs. You play for the money. If not, second strike. Typewriter? Yes. Oh, well done. Two good families. I know that you lost, but it's it such a joy that you both played well. And you, you know, and you won the last time. Uh, got $167 there, 5,333 dollars will add to that. Nice prizes and our gratitude for being here. You were nice people. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. 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 Who's first? Okay. Jody and Bernie going for the money. Might have to rewatch this. Well done. Thank you. Tell me, oh, 15 cents. No, give me, yeah, 15. I was going to give her 20 because she's nice. Tell me, what's the longest distance you've ever walked? Um, 20 miles. A sport you'd rather watch them play? Football. Something you ask a waitress for? Water. An animal kids draw pictures of. Horse. Something that's cold. Ice. Very good. Very good. Very good. Uh, what's the longest distance you ever walked? You're not only a good player, you're a, you're a hell of a walker, too. Is that what they said? Four. Four, you'd rather watch them play football. Survey said? Something you ask a waitress for. Joey said, water. Everybody said? Seventy-nine. Nine. An animal the kids draw pictures of. You said? Horse. Survey said? Money. Ninety-nine. Something that's cold. Joey said, ice. Survey said? Told you, you were good. Here's Bernie. Thank you. Yeah, very good. You are 52 points away from the money. Please remind everyone the marvelous answers Jody gave us. Give us 20 seconds on the clock, please. Tell me, what's the longest distance you ever walked? Two miles. A sport you'd rather watch them play? Football. Try again. Uh, baseball. Something you ask a waitress for? Coffee. An animal kids draw pictures of? Horses. Try again. Dogs. Something that's cold? Uh, soda pop. All right, start on. Jody does 20 miles. Yeah. <laughs> Longest distance, you said two miles. It's more my style, Bernie. Sorry, they said. Wow. Number one answer, believe it or not, was five miles. Uh, I jogged five one. miles. Sport, you'd rather watch them play. You said baseball. Football was number one. You need 33 points. Sorry, they said. Seven. Something you ask a waitress for. Water was number one. You said coffee. You now need 26 points for $5,000. Survey said. <laughs> An animal the kids draw pictures of. You said a dog. I love dogs. Yeah, me too. Sure. Yeah, Particularly angry. if they're worth four points. <laughs> Survey yeah. said. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah.